Hello everyone. So in our last video, we talked about some of the organizations that were based on Java. So in this video, we are going to talk about some of the open source organizations uh, that are participating in Google Summer of Code from last few years and that are based on Python. So it can be uh, based on basic Python programming language or may uh, include some Python frameworks, frameworks that are dependent on Py uh, based on Python. Python like Django, Flask, etc. So let's start our video. So first of all in our list is Python Software Foundation because if you are talking about uh, open source organizations that are based on Python, how can you ignore Python itself? So Python is an open source organization and uh, as we all know that it is a high level programming language and uh, if you are a Python developer, I don't need to explain much about this organization. So Yes, if you are a Python developer, you can, of course, uh, contribute to Python in itself. Next in our list is Django Software Foundation. So most of our Python developer know that Django is a web framework based on Python. And most of the Python developer use Django for web development and other purposes. Um, so yes you can contribute to django you can also contribute to flask flask is also a web based framework um, web framework based on python but flask doesn't participate in google summer of code so we haven't listed here but flask is an open source organization you can contribute to it next is fedora so fedora is a linux distribution fedora is an open source organization that work under uh, the umbrella of red hat uh, so uh, i know that uh, fedora has a amazing community and Fedora has been participating uh, in GSOC from last many years and I am very much confident that it will participate in 2021 again. So if you are interested in Linux kernel operating system etc. So you can definitely uh, go for Fedora. Similar to Fedora, Fedora we have Debian. Debian is also an op operating system. So Linux kernel based operating system. So if you are interested in developing or uh, development of open source uh, operating system or any uh, similar things so you can explore these two organizations uh, next in our list is open wisp so if you are someone who is interested in network management, Wi-Fi, routers, playing with routers, playing uh, in creation of a network, small networks, LAN, WAN, etc. So you should definitely check out OpenWISP and one of my friend has done his uh, GSOC last year from this organization. So I know that the organization is very good. The community is very uh, good and uh, uh, you can uh, they have multiple projects like controllers uh, notification ansible etc so do check out this organization next is creative commons so creative common uh, creative common i have i first heard about this organization through outreach because creative Co common continuously participate in outreach in both the co cohort from last many years uh, so if you are someone who is thinking to participate in both outreach and uh, gsoc you should definitely check creative commons they create platforms for collaborative environment and uh, uh, platforms for creative persons for artistic things etc next is OWASP foundation so OWASP comes into the picture when we talk about information security application security like whether how much secure how much sustainable this particular application is for using purpose so uh, OWASP is a tool for that for application security and they also have uh, projects based on node.js and python open astronomy the name itself tells a lot so they uh, they have projects they have uh, uh, they create libraries python libraries there are uh, some python libraries already mentioned so they create python libraries which you can use to uh, use to understand astro concepts of astrophysics and uh, solar system etc Simpy. Simpy is a Python library. So if you are a person who is invested in data science, data analytics, etc. So uh, for mathematics purposes, uh, science and mathematics purposes, we use Simpy a lot in uh, data science. 
Next is Open Bioinformatic Foundation. So if you are someone uh, related to biotechnology and want to contribute to open source, so you should check out these organizations for sure uh, because they want to improve medical sciences field uh, using uh, the support of uh, tech industry and that is like a great initiative. Uh, Kios. Uh, so uh, Kios is... An open source organization that uses different metrics to analyze uh, an open source uh, open source project that how much sustainable how much uh, reliable this uh, open source project is uh, what uh, they tells different thing they explain about the maintainability of this project sustainability liability of that project so it is an open source organization that analyzes other open source projects that use uh, that creates tools to analyze open source projects TensorFlow. So if you are someone from the field of machine learning, deep learning, I don't need to explain much about TensorFlow. So TensorFlow is a really great community. So uh, you can um, uh, you can explore this organization uh, for sure. So uh, if you are interested in data analytics, deep learning, machine learning. Uh, so yes, go for this internet archive so internet archive internet archive is an organization that uh, that is for like uh, storing the data and uh, uh, how uh, how we can like Man, uh, manage the data on uh, uh, on web so it can be accessible to the community easily and all so these kind of things so these kind of web based projects they have uh, so they have like projects based on uh, basic python and uh, native javascript so yes do explore this also last in our list is ceph ceph is an organization that again comes into under red hat and uh, uh, when we talk about uh, storage so after openstack with some something that comes into the picture is ceph ceph is also known as cluster storage or future storage so ceph has like amazing things i have explored ceph a lot and they have great projects like tithology etc based on python so if you are someone who know shell scripting and python too so you should go for its projects too so that was all uh, for from our side in this video do check out some more organizations because these are not the only organizations that are based on python you can get a lot of organizations uh, based on python we just uh, listed them because they are participating from many years and uh, high chances that they will participate again in gsoc 2021 so yeah all the best bye bye